the exhibit was the beginning of a a cultural exchange that went on for years that I think was very, very important in the relationship uh, between, between the two countries. It included everything from scientific work to, uh, to artis artistic um, e exhibits, uh, informational exhibits like this one. There was a whole series of them later. Um, and what it did is it, is, it opened the doors, as, as often we were told by visitors, that it opened the world to them. They had no way of traveling out, but the world came to them. And it was interesting, the Soviets must have recognized the, the potential impact of the exhibit, because that summer they brought all sorts of international groups, uh, programs, exhibits, to Moscow. I think, in a sense, to compete with the with the uh, uh, Americans, people visitors lined up overnight. When we'd come in in the morning to open the exhibit, there would be literally thousands of people waiting at the gate for the gates to open, um, and this happened day after day after day after day all summer. Um, the The tickets were mainly given out. They were theoretically, the price was one ruble. Uh, the exchange rate was 10 to one, right, back then? I don't remember, um, but it was. And so it was, it was quite uh, easy to get, but, but to give somebody a ticket to the exhibit was a really big deal. If you were in a restaurant and gave a waiter a ticket, boy, you really had good service. Um, there weren't many to give out. Most of them were distributed through, through Soviet organizations. But what happened was people had conversations they never had before. Not only, not only we, but the Soviets. And I had the, uh, 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 an interesting experience the next time I came back to the Soviet Union, which was back, which was 12, 13 years later. Somebody that I had gotten to know, who was, uh, who was a member of the Academy of Sciences, a very senior uh, scientist, contacted me um, and uh, asked me to visit and so on. And we saw him a couple of times. But what was striking about it is that throughout this subsequent relationship, I can't guess even how many times he had mentioned things that we had talked about during, during our first encounters. It surprised me. I didn't remember those conversations, certainly not in the detail he had. Um, but it was something going into, into a void, into a vacuum. Um, and that was the significance we began to fill out an information vacuum that, that some of us didn't even know existed. 